in the movie it says, the quote is made by Hawking, and I'm going to give my best memory of, uh, memory of this. He says, because there's a law like gravity, the universe can and will create itself out of nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, spontaneous creation is the reason there is something rather yes. than nothing. And then I think there was an addendum, you don't need God uh, to account for the universe. This was a little bit of a retraction because maybe Hawking in the past had a little bit of an open door about that. He did. He left the question open at the end of the mind of God, but yeah. he's come out clearly as an atheist. It's that quotation that you just made that was the motivation for me writing the book. I was shown that just before Hawking's mm. book appeared and asked by a national newspaper to comment on it. And I was so amazed at this. Because there is a law of gravity, the universe can and will create itself from nothing. And I thought, hang on a minute. That's a flat contradiction. Because there is a law of gravity, that is because there is something, Mm. the universe creates itself from nothing. I mean, that's just flat contradiction. And then I thought, but wait a minute. Because there is a law of gravity. He doesn't even say because there is gravity. And it seemed to me there that he's become a victim of thinking that has become a little bit popular in academic circles, that laws can create things, Mm. which is nonsense, of course. Unfortunately, the financial crisis came about by that. People thought that the laws of mathematics could create money, but they can't create Mm. anything at all. More seriously, perhaps still, in that sentence, the universe will create itself. Now, if I say X creates Y, what do those words mean? Well, if I've got X, it'll produce Y. So if I say, if X creates X, what does that mean? It means if I've got X, it'll produce X. And in the book, I just put, as it came out in the film, I say, well, that just proves that nonsense remains nonsense, even if spoken mm. by uh, uh, very clever uh, that scientists. That got one of the biggest laughs of the whole day. Yes, I and mean, what I... people don't realize is that here is Hawking. He's a brilliant, famous scientist. He was just ahead of me at Cambridge. I remember it very well. I have no quibble with the science, but it's what he deduces from it is the problem. And it reminds me of something that's very important in this area, Rice, and it's this. Statements of scientists aren't always statements of science, but the trouble is because they've got authority, people think this is an authoritative statement of science and that Hawking has solved the mystery of the existence of the universe. He hasn't. He's given a statement that has three distinct levels of contradiction built within it. That's not a very good start. Mm. 